Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be using some of the features of Steinberg Spectralayers Go to work on some podcast audio. Spectralayers is an impressive piece of software which allows you to edit audio spectrally and split the audio into separate element layers and stems. Spectralayers Go is included with Pro Tools subscriptions and includes some of the core features of the full Spectralayers software. With ARA2 integration, we're able to access this within the Pro Tools edit window. Let's get started. This is a podcast recording which I've been sent to work on and there are a couple of things which I need to sort out. Firstly, we have an intro which has a voice mixed into it towards the end. Welcome to the lead up to Lisbon. Coming up on this episode... The client has decided that they no longer want the voice, but they don't have access to the original files, so we'll use spectral layers to split this out and remove it. Right clicking on this, we can choose spectral layers, edit. As you can see, the audio is now displayed within this spectrogram at the bottom of the edit window. This can be resized or detached as needed. I actually have Spectral Layers Pro installed, which gives me full access to a wider feature set, but for now, I'll focus on the things which are available in Spectral Layers Go. My goal is of course to get rid of the voice and retain the music, so I can use the Unmix Song feature for this. You can see we can split this into vocals and other. The drums, guitar and so on are reserved for Spectral Layers Pro. I'll demonstrate some of those features in another video. We have three quality settings to choose from, fast, high and extreme. I want the best quality possible and I don't mind waiting so I'll select extreme and then click apply. I'll speed this up for the video. Now that's done, over in the layers tab we can see vocals and other. Let's solo the vocal layer. Welcome to the lead up to Lisbon. Coming up on this episode and other which is of course the music. And you may have noticed on the vocal layer, there was a little bit of music which crept in. Ben. I'd like to cut this from the vocal layer and add it to the other layer where it belongs. So I'll select it like this. And then cut it with command X. Now selecting the other layer and soloing it just so we can see what's happening more easily. I'll choose edit, paste special, paste and mix. Now that part of the music has been put on its rightful layer. Let's mute the vocals or dialogue. Great, that's the intro sorted. Next, there's some audio with a couple of strange beeps in it. Thank you so much for having us. You know, Sharon and I were just wondering. Let's get rid of these. Right click again, spectral layers. Edit. It's in the spectrogram view. Let's take a listen. Thank you so much for having us. You know. So I'm just going to zoom into this. If you press the plus key on the keyboard, you can do that. These are clearly the noises in question. For having us. You okay, but it's a bit blurry, and we probably need to zoom it a bit more. So you can zoom in time-wise with plus, and zoom out with minus. But you can also zoom in frequency-wise by holding down the option key and zooming on this little, or scrolling rather, in this frequency scale here. Now the fact that they are blurry is because of the FFT size. So we can actually bring it to focus by adjusting this over here. Perhaps something like that is better, I think. And I'm gonna use the eraser tool to get rid of as much of this as is practical. So I'll go over here, choose the eraser. Now remember, in Spectral Layers Go, you'll see a slightly more limited feature set than I can see here, but the eraser tool is one of them. And I'm gonna choose a brush size here, Maybe around 30, 35. Okay, go over this frequency here a couple of times, perhaps. Similar kind of thing on this one. Now that's going to have got rid of the main frequency, but not these little surrounding bits. Let's just see what we've got at this point. We're having us. You know okay, so it's left that little glitchy thing in place. So once again, go back to the eraser tool, maybe a slightly smaller brush size. And then I'm going to go over these like that maybe one more time and then similar thing here and likewise with the other one obviously i could spend a little bit longer on this but i think this is going to be good enough for what we need okay let's play that we're having us you know sharon and I 
Okay, that's actually great. Let's just go back a little bit, hear it in context within the podcast. Welcome to the lead up to Lisbon and thank you both for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. You know, Sharon and I were just wondering. So we've used Steinberg Spectral Layers Go to remove some unwanted speech from music and clean up a couple of noises too. There's actually a lot more to Spectral Layers than this and it has applications in both music and post-production. I'll be posting more content about it soon so keep your eye on the Production Expert blog for that. Also, if you're interested in trying out some of the more advanced features of the full Spectral Layers software yourself, visit steinberg.net to download a 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.